We're out here today on uh, Lake Fontana. This is one of the TVA lakes. Runs between North Carolina and Tennessee. And we're looking at an interesting uh, opportunity for somebody. This is a trawler. It's kept on a lake up here. Beautiful freshwater lake. And what makes this really interesting is this is called by many as a, a pocket trawler. Uh, trawlers for years have been boats that people like to have where they can live on board. You can sleep and cook and all that kind of stuff. And then you can travel in it. So this particular one uh, is designed to have the features and characteristics of a trawler, but it's designed in such a way uh, you can put up on your trailer and take it to other waters. So if you wanted to do, uh, say, a river, you could do that river and then pick it up and maybe do some some of the coastal areas along the uh, intercoastal uh, waterway, and uh, it's ready for it. Um, this is the boat is is it's a um, nimble nomad is is what this boat is, and they're very rare. They didn't make too many of them. What makes it unique, too, is that not only can you put this on a trailer and take it to another body of water, the back of it up here, the power is done with a uh, with an outboard motor back there. So the outboard motor can be serviced by just about anybody. It's a Yamaha, which is, has a wonderful reputation in their outboards. It also uh, is a four-stroke, so you just put regular pump gas in there. You don't have to worry about mixing fuel with your uh, oil or any of that kind of stuff. So this is a great opportunity for somebody. Uh, it took the owner a couple years to find this one, but he knew what he was doing when he was looking because of the reputation of the designer and the characteristics of a trawler. So we're gonna walk around and look at a little bit more of this um, as it sets here. Got high sides, so you don't have to worry about you know, taking water in. It can take some waves and some splashes and all that. And it, it rides in the water, not on the water. And that's the definition basically of a displacement hull. Where when you get a speedboat, it tries to skim across the water with a lot of power and speed. Much the same way when you throw a rock and skip rocks on the water. That's your power boats. A trawler is in the water, so it's pushing the water around it. So it has a different type of a hull. It's a different type of a purpose. But if you wanted to have something to get away from everything, what a wonderful opportunity. You come down to a marina, get on your boat, enjoy the, the tranquility, or you can take it out, head down the river. There have been people who have used these boats and done the Great Loop, which is what includes the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes. You're not gonna go real fast, but you're gonna do it in style and in comfort. Like I said, the, the other thing that makes it so unique is that you can put this on your trailer, pull up behind your car, your truck, and you could uh, just go to a whole new body of water. If you wanna do the Chesapeake Bay, you want to do some of the intercoastal waterways around Florida, uh, this would be a great opportunity. If you just want to put it up for a while in the winter, just put it on your trailer, winterize what you need to do, and you'll be ready to go. Thank you for uh, taking a look at this. And uh, I think just the right person is going to really appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to own something as sweet as this. Thank you.